Is condensation in the intercooler normal or abnormal? Well, we're gonna find out next. This video is sponsored by Mala, manufacturers of engine components, filters, and peripherals. Visit mala-aftermarket.com for more information. The turbocharger, what it does, it compresses air. When it compresses air, it heats up the air. Then, when that air makes its way to the intercooler, the moisture or humidity inside of that air typically drops out in the form of liquid water. This will accumulate inside some intercoolers, but it typically evaporates as the engine and intercooler warm up over time. But if the driver is doing short drive cycles, it may not have a chance to evaporate this water. Some manufacturers will actually have a small weep hole at the bottom of the intercooler to drain off this water, but there's no way you can prevent this. If you see that this liquid has a yellowish tinge to it, this is typically the water getting mixed up with the engine oil or oil droplets coming from the positive crankcase ventilation system. This is a sign that there may be a malfunction in the oil separator or the valve that controls the crankcase gases through that oil separator. So make sure you inspect that to make sure it's operating properly and it's not throwing a lot of oil droplets into the turbocharger. Many manufacturers have issued TSBs on condensation inside the intercooler. Some of their fixes, well, it's a small hole at the bottom of the intercooler. It could be blocking off part of the intercooler. It could be rerouting some of the ducting for the intercooler. Make sure you check the TSBs if you run into a lot of liquid inside of the intercooler. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.